Okay, all right. It is done loading. We actually shot this image with the Canon M50, and then we use the 50mm lens, right? Okay, yes. So we use the M uh, the 50mm lens, which um for for the Canon M50 users, we know that if you were, if you want to use the normal um lens for the Canon, you would have to get a converter. So I recently got the converter and I was able to use the the 50 mm to shoot this. So I wish I can check the settings, but maybe in our post we'll drop the settings for this. Okay, so this is our image, and we'll start with this image and see how we can retouch this. Okay, for me, I will want to take away my blemishes first, and um, today I'm going to work non destructively. So, one quick way I can do that is I will just create a new layer. And then I will pick my clone stamp tool. How to work non destructively. That's what I'm trying to show you. And if you notice, this is not a planned shoot. So, even in case you're seeing all of this, not to worry, I'll show you how to fix it. That is why I'm doing this tutorial to be able to show you how you can actually get a very perfect look, despite the fact that, okay, maybe the plan or the model wasn't looking too good. I want to work non destructively. So, I would pick my clone stamp tool and then I will set my sample to current and below. That's to say, I'm telling it to um, work on both the current layer and below layer. So I will just pick my clone sample, and then, like you know, I will use my alt. I will sample, and then I cover. I will sample, I cover, I will sample, I cover. I will sample, I cover. I cover. So we are going to carefully do this, and I might just rush this process for sake of time because this is going to be a very long tutorial so maybe just follow up on that meanwhile if you are new to my channel please do well to like comment and subscribe to the channel and um, if this video is of help to you please also do well to share to your friends and to your loved ones and maybe that photographer out there that mention an issue he was having with either frequency separation, mixer brush or blemish remover or whatsoever. We have tons of tutorials on the channel that could help someone out there to become better. Okay, I'm not after the the big blemishes okay sorry the small blemishes I'm after just what you would have as bigger blemishes so that I could as well my purpose of me going through all of this stress is so I could use a higher blow that will give me more detail on the skin. That's just the purpose. Or less, if I were to use a soft blow, blow um, yeah, I could take this off with my frequency separation. So, so like I tell my people, most of the times, um, the higher your blow, the sharper your image, and the lower your blow. Yeah, possibly the softer your image, all of that. So me, I'm just being free because I'm with my people, and for those of you that will get to see this, this is just to benefiting, and I'm glad to share. I'm happy to share. So you just don't want to sample and cover. I, if I use this tone and come down here, see what happens. It changes the color. So you want to sample a tone that is close by. So I might just drop this in series. So if you get to watch any of the parts and speed for the next one, because we are going to drop it part by part so that you get to benefit and you follow up and it's not going to be too cumbersome for you. Okay, back to the image. So, like I said, I wanted to work non-destructively. So, um, this is like, look at this, look at the skin. This is like my before and my after. So, you can actually remove your blemishes, even 
without you um affecting the image so if i want to do my before and my after i can as well just have what i started with unlike removing the blemishes and then you're just having something that has already been worked on so let's get to the neck and then let's do a little work on the neck So I guess today we have learned something new on how to use, how to work non-destructively, removing your blemishes. So this is the little I would do before I start my frequency separation. Alright, so we have come to the end of today's video on how to actually do your blemish removal non-destructively so anticipate for the next section of this video or the next part of this video which will be talking about how to retouch this image from start to finish and then um, if you know this has helped you and has increased your knowledge on photography please do well to um, subscribe do well to like this video and don't forget comment lastly share till we see you again remain creative <music>